To travel the Salt Mission Trail is to take a journey back in time. Explore the scenic byway and visit ancient Indian ruins, prehistoric trade routes, and awe-inspiring mission churches. The State Tourism Department's Dan Monahan shows us where the soul of the Southwest meets the Turquoise <laughs> Trail. A portion of this route actually rests atop a better known byway called Route 66. Between the towns of Teharis and Moriarty, the two paths are identical. Moriarty is a farm and ranch town with a long history tied to transportation, with key trade, train, and interstate routes flowing through it. To the south is Estancia, the county seat, and a town with its own rich history of Spanish exploration and more recent status as a ranching center for the region. To the west of Moriarty is Edgewood, so named because it is the transition point between eastern plains and central mountains. It is also home to wild Wildlife West Nature Park. Here visitors can view southwestern wildlife in settings as near to their natural habitat as possible. Many of these are rescue animals and all are unable to survive in the wild for some reason. Teharis, which means scissors in Spanish, is at the heart of a scissor canyon that has been a prime route through the mountains for centuries. Teharis Pueblo once thrived in this canyon. Today, its partially excavated ruins are open to visitors. From Teharis, the Salt Missions Byway travels south along the Manzano Mountains and through villages loaded with color and culture. Towns like Escobosa, Tahiki, and Chilili trace their roots back to Spanish explorers and missionaries, and each town has a unique church as a centerpiece. The trip will land you in Mountain Air, which has its own share of colorful Western history and its own unique centerpieces, like the Schaefer Hotel. It is also the ideal starting point to visit the byway's namesake, Salt Missions. There are three of them, Abo, Quarai, and Gran Quivira. Abo is the most accessible just off a main highway west of Mountain Air. All three Pueblos combine to form the Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument, hence the Salt Missions name for the byway. At their peak between 400 and 800 years ago, they were important trading points, including trade for the salt left behind in dry lake beds in the area. Again, hence the Salinas or Salt name. Quarai is north of Mountain Air. Here, as at all the salt missions, the remnants of a Spanish mission church from the 1600s is a centerpiece. Both Quirai and Abo are built from the rich red rock found in the area. Gran Quivira looks distinctly different, built from white stone found in its area, farther from the mountains and farther off the beaten path. Each of these pueblos is a wonder for visitors. Grouped together, they are impressive enough to earn national monument status and to serve as namesakes for one of New Mexico's most diverse scenic byways. Gosh, I love these scenic byways. So beautiful. Elias, have you ever made that drive? I have made that drive. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't visited the pueblos or, or the salt missions, but mm -hmm. I mean, I know we say that it's, say this all the time on New Mexico style. I mean, just jump in your car and point in any direction. Yeah. And I mean, the the landscape, the variety. New Mexico truly is the land of enchantment. It really is, and you can see why. And for more information about the Salt Mission Trail and other scenic byways, visit NewMexico.org. And after the break, Bien Shure's Mark Quinones is dishing up in our Builder Source kitchen. Yay! 